There is so much going on right now, so much going on this week. Chicago has a new mayor, RFK Jr. is running for president, and the Tampa Bay Rays are undefeated. <laughs> the Tampa Bay Rays! And you know what? Good for the Rays. You know they pay their players in Burger King. Did you know that? <laughs> But if there's one thing I love more than baseball, it's food. And if there's one thing I love more than food, it's food lawsuits. This morning, it's a battle of the bowls. Chipotle Mexican Grill filing a lawsuit in California against salad chain Sweetgreen, alleging Sweetgreen's new Chipotle chicken burrito bowl violates Chipotle's trademark rights. Chipotle claiming Sweetgreen's very similar and directly competitive bowl is an attempt to capitalize on their brand, arguing the competitor's ad uses the same font and style as Chipotle's branding and features a similar color to their trademarked adobo red. Chipotle says Sweetgreen should change the name of its new bowl by one, putting the word Chipotle in lowercase and renaming it as a chicken bowl with Chipotle. That's right. That's right. The two whitest restaurants in America are fighting over who gets to use a Mexican word. And honestly, honestly, what the hell is Chipotle mad about? You named yourself after a seasoning. That's on you, Playboy. And honestly, both, both, both these companies need to get sued just for using the word burrito bowl. <laughs> if it ain't wrapped up, it ain't a burrito. <laughs> stop, stop it. It's just shit in a bowl. You're putting shit in a bowl and you go, oh, this is our burrito bowl. Bitch, that's dry chili. <laughs> Would you like to try our all new PB&J sandwich bowl? <laughs> Sorry, did I say I wanted pudding? I could have sworn <laughs> I wanted a sandwich. <laughs> Moving on to a big story today. One of America's Supreme Court justices is in a major corruption scandal. And you'll never guess who. Okay, it's Clarence Thomas. <laughs> but you'll never guess what. A simply blockbuster, long bombshell report. Get this, Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas did not disclose luxury trips around the world worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. ProPublica says Justice Thomas has for years accepted free charter jet flights and stays on a yacht at, and uh, luxury resorts from real estate developer Harlan Crow. Crow is a conservative mega donor. Crow tells uh, ProPublica he's never tried to influence the justice on legal or political issues. Oh, yeah, 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 sure, I'm sure. No, no, hang on, no, no. I'm sure this billionaire Republican didn't want to influence nobody. He, he just, no, no, he no. He just wanted to go on vacation with Clarence Thomas, you know, because we all know that Clarence Thomas is clearly a bag of fun. <laughs> just be straight up. Who wouldn't want to pull up on Miami Beach with old CT? <laughs> Come on, Clarence, we're doing tequila shots. Mm, Clarence love. Tequila shots. <laughs> I don't know why I made him sound like Sling Blade. Here, here's my question. <laughs> if you're gonna buy a Supreme Court justice, why would you spend all that money on luxury yachts and planes for Clarence Thomas? You could have bought Brett Kavanaugh for a bottle of Jaeger and a Southwest <laughs> Body Pass. <laughs> this is the better deal. <laughs> Borden Group B. Let's move on to sports now. Earlier this week, we told you how LSU beat Iowa in the Women's NCAA Basketball Championship, and there was some epic trash talk this week between Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark, and tempers have been bubbling all week, but finally, finally, a peacemaker has emerged. Did First Lady Jill Biden get so excited about the Women's Basketball Championship game, she put her foot in her mouth. As she celebrated LSU's victory over Iowa, Dr. Jill suggested both teams come to the White House. So I know we'll have the champions come to um, to the White House. We always do. So, you know, we'll have LSU come. But you know what? I'm going to tell Joe, I think Iowa should come too because they played such a good game. Yes. Yes. No, you're wrong. <laughs> She's talking about peace and unity, y'all. Why shouldn't the losers be standing proud with the winners? <laughs> Come on, Jill, Jill Biden. You're trying to turn the White House into a participation trophy. 
Nobody likes participation trophies. Even the kids don't like participation trophies. Nobody. Nobody's ever came home after school after the big game with a trophy like, yo, check it out, I struck out 12 times. <laughs> For more on this story, we turn to Desi Lighter. Desi. Desi, we've been talking about the story around the building all week, and I know you'll agree with me. The whole thing, the, the whole thing on this issue comes down to one word, and that word is racism. Sexism. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you think you think this is racism? Roy, I know racism when I see it. And this is textbook racism. A mostly white team getting an invite to the White House for losing is white privilege at its most insidious. <laughs> Quote Malcolm X. No, you no 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 no. Yeah. You may not you may not quote Malcolm Got X. Got it. Got it. I hear what you're saying, Desi, but this is clearly sexism. This this offer this would have never happened in men's sports. But women are expected to get along and to share the prize simply because they're women. If I could quote the great Gloria Steinem. Nope. Gloria Steinem. <laughs> nope. Look, Roy. It is racist to honor white losers the same as black winners. <laughs> Trust me, I have a unique perspective on race as a person talking to a black man right now. Desi, let me explain to you how internalized sexism works. Let me explain Careful sexism now. to you. Dr. Jill Biden treated these adult women like a bunch of high schoolers who all had to be invited to the slumber party no matter what. That's not what you do. And I know what I'm talking about because I watched Handmaiden's Tale a couple seasons. <laughs> That's the name of it. Is it Handmaid's or Handmaiden's Tale? Which one is it? I don't know. I only watch Atlanta. <laughs> It's racism or sexism, and it's racism. I think we can both agree on two things. One, I know all the lyrics to Gangsta's Paradise. And two, this was not Jill Biden's finest moment. Yes, Dr. Jill Biden. Yes. Yes. Dr. Okay. Jill Biden made a mistake. Maybe next year the White House should have Vice President Kamala Harris extend the invite. You know, another strong woman. A strong black woman. Who made U.S. history. Not to mention, she knows how to kick it at the cookout, know what I mean? That's right, girl boss. Yeah. Yeah, give it all. Desi Lattic, everybody.